الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد ولا علیہ وصحب وسلم اما بعد Islam leaves no place for shuck or doubt about the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about His infinite grace and mercy and favor, and that He is the creator of the heavens and earth, and that Islam is His religion. It's the religion Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen for us. It's the religion Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has perfected for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al-kareem, اليوم اكملت لكم دينكم واتممت عليكم نعمتي ورديت لكم اسلام دينا الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم This day I have perfected for you your religion and I've completed my favor upon you and I am pleased for you Islam as a religion Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has completed Islam. It doesn't need any increase. It doesn't require from us to subtract anything. But rather, we accept kitab Allah wa sunnat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as it is. And we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He wants to be worshipped, as He subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for us to worship Him and, and commanded us to worship Him. And that is in accordance with kitab wa sunnah as we have mentioned on countless occasions. And that if you want success in this life as well as the hereafter, you have to follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And that's going to be your success. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al-kareem, Kul ya il nas, in kuntum fi shakkin fi deeni, fala a'budu al-ladheena ta'buduna min duni Allah. وَلَكِنْ أَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ أَلَّذِي يَتَوَفَّاكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Yunus He says, Subhana Addressing the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He orders him in the imperative قُلْ Say O you mankind If you're in doubt about my religion do not worship other Do not worship those who worship other who are worshiped other uh, who are worshiped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala However worship Allah the one who will cause you to die he will you meet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us life and he gives us death. He's the only one worthy of worship. As Ibn Kathir said, Rahimahullah ta'ala, of the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhan nas, fa'budu rabbukum alladhi khalakukum alladhina min qablakum la'allakum tatakun. At the ila akhir, ila akhir ayat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you mankind, Worship your Lord. Ya yonas abudu rabbukum alladhi khalakukum. The one who created you. Walladhina min qablakum. And those who came before you in order that you would gain God consciousness. Meaning that you would fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn Kathir said not about this ayah but another ayah which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses all of mankind and talks about his signs. He says, Al khalik li hadhihi la shah huwa mustahik li libadah. He said, the one who created all of those things is truly the only one worthy of worship. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us his continual grace, mercy, and favor and bless us to be of those who worship him and him alone and give him his right. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.